the opening of a, 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 a probably a four or five year development of a, a increase in terms of the, the project, in terms of the development of additional changing rooms, artificial grass pitch and natural grass pitches in terms of the site to support Harbour Town's overall development as a, as a community club. We have, it's, we've had a huge amount of money from the Football Foundation and from a local charity that's helped us. It's taken us three, three and a half years to get the project finished. We're near enough finished now. So we've invited all the people who've helped us with the project and that sort of thing um, to witness the trophy actually officially opening the facility for us. Because we've got so many children that want to play football and we just have not got enough facilities. We needed dressing rooms. We've got, I don't know, 10 dressing rooms now so we can put on lots of matches on a Saturday and a Sunday. We've now got a senior squads involved. We've got four senior squads. Um, so we can play senior football as well. We've got integrated football. We've got the local disability alliance play here. We've got girls football. Everything that we couldn't do before, we can now do because we've got the facility and the space to do it. The facility is obviously a fantastic asset to the club. Harbour Town have got 32 teams now. Um, so really it's about providing football opportunities from young players playing at mini soccer all the way through to, to seniors and, and veterans football. We've seen an increase, I think, in about five or six teams have grown since the project first started, uh, and the aim is to get up to approximately 50 teams over the course of the next five years. And towards our, our key funders, which is obviously the Football Foundation, um, and the Premier League, the FA and the government here have been working there for a number of years, and we try to prioritise you know, clubs that are trying to uh, take on more sides, uh, take on pitches, looking to expand and you know, give them decent facilities that they, they can do that. And, uh, that's where really today, some just over 600,000 from the foundation has been put to a scheme that was uh, just over 1.1 million. So it's a big scheme, uh, one of the bigger ones, but I think when you come here and see you know, nearly 50 teams and all the families and the local community and the commitment that's required you know, to deliver that week in and week out, it's great and you know, it's a reward for, as I say, a lot of work over a number of years. Thank you very much for setting us on the road, because without the money we could not have achieved this. Um, a local charity also came involved and have given us over £200,000, but they wouldn't have got involved without the Football Foundation starting us on that road. Um, just to see the facility now, people can see what it's done to the community. And if you're, you come at a weekend, the place is buzzing. It is just wonderful.